Welcome back to This Is Me, Christy. This is a channel that's all about trying to encourage and inspire other mamas like me, where we homeschool, we kind of do a lot of things from scratch at times, and we just need a little bit of encouragement and a little insight into other people's way of doing things to just keep going. Um, so I hope that you find that here. Today we are tackling um, my Montessori inspired shelves for my two-year-old. He's a little over two. He's about two years and three months right now. And, um, and he has been with the same shelving, like shelf work, I should say, for the past month. So it's a perfect time to transition. Today was kind of crazy and I'll give you some insight into that with some photos and stuff of um, how it went because I decided to do it when everybody was up, everybody was awake, and I don't know, I guess I felt like I was gonna be super mom today <laughs> and just do all of the things. So this room was a mess, um, but we got it done. And um, I'm really happy with how it all came together. So without further ado, let's get into the transition. I just made a video about the benefits of each of these individual lessons. I'll pin it above so that you can watch that. But today, we're going to focus on cleaning this all up and transitioning up to new lessons fit for his next level.
running and taking a running break? Yeah? Whoa. Whoa. Do you want to go jump on the trampoline? Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay, a little break for Gabba. Screwdriver. Very good. This job. We have a hammer. A this job.
That's a goat. Whenever he puts an animal down, repeat the name because this is part of building his vocabulary. And now say, can you get say goat? Goat. Good. Very good. Oh, that is a goat. That's a white goat. Here, go ahead and put it back here. Goat. Very good. That is a goat. Now, can you look for the horse? That's a pig. Very oh, good. A pig. A pig. A pig. Daddy, oink, 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 oink. Oink, oink, oink. And then after, oink, oink. Mama, after maybe we can do that little animal puzzle thing. Maybe. That's a chicken. That's a One chicken. One chicken. One chicken. Another chicken. Montessori inspired thing. This is by no means something that is, um, you know, in a true Montessori guidebook. Um, it's inspired from that. And um, I've taken from that philosophy and from Charlotte Mason, from Waldorf, and classical education as well. And I have infused it all together for his curriculum. Um, on another video, I'd love to show you the classical education Charlotte Mason approach that I do with him that's not just a shelf work. Um, and if you'd like to see that, please comment down below and let me know. Uh, that way I can get to working on that for you. Um, and yeah, so this particular video was geared toward transitioning out from an 18 month old, 24 month shelves to 2T, two 3T. Teeth, um, and then I just sprinkled in a little bit of uh, some lessons for my four year old as well, so that he has something to go to instead of, you know, uh, being bored, which is okay to be bored, but, um, you know, kind of laying on the floor nagging <laughs> that he has nothing to do. So I make sure that I put something on there for him as well. Um, if you have any questions on what it is that I used um, or you know any comments that you like to let me know about please put them down below I'd love to hear from you I'd love to see what you're doing if you guys have some Montessori inspired shelves um, I'd love to follow you and gain some inspiration and encouragement from you as well uh, so drop them uh, drop your tags and stuff uh, in the comment section below all right my friends see you around in the next video You're playing that? Wait, no, that's mine. I know. You guys sure are having fun with all of the puzzles right now. <laughs>